I have no tattoos on my body whatsoever anywhere, but the subject of magical tattoos has come up in my games over the course of playing Dungeons and Dragons for 20 years quite a lot. And until now, I've always winged the rules. I just gave somebody a tattoo, slapped some rules on it from the top of my head and went with it. But that is not necessary anymore with the Tome of Mythical Tattoos. Number two, I'm actually pretty far behind on this one. Hi there fellow role players and game masters, my name is Mr. Trask and this is still your go-to YouTube channel for anything Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition and today I want to talk about the Tome of Mystical Tattoos 2 for D&D 5e and the reason I want to talk about this and I find this really interesting is because I want to start off with a little story where you know when your players uh, take a little thing that you said as a game master like a little tiny thing and turn that into what they decide want to be an entire social encounter or they turn that into like the biggest plot twist or tw plot point out there uh, while you just meant it as a little bit of world building or storytelling. That's what happened to me in terms of uh, magical tattoos uh, once where my players were walking into a city basically and I was describing this city just from the top of my head. Uh, it, I was just like setting the tone of the city. I was talking about the inns, I was talking about the taverns, Talking about the streets, talking about the locals, the bridges, the architecture, the temples. And I just kept naming stuff and, and setting the vibe of this. And I said, like, there's a store where you can buy herbs and flavors. There's another store where you can buy, like, pottery and all of that stuff. There's even a store where you can, like, literally an adventurous gear store. There's, of course, a very famous tattoo artist in the city. Then there is a store. And I just went on and went on. And there was one person in my uh, in my group who took that tattoo artist famous tattoo artist bit that was in there and completely took that out of proportion and wanted to go there and they uh started talking to this tattoo artist that i uh from the top of my mind gave a name i gave them uh, an, an appearance i gave them like whatever they were at that particular point in time uh i had to come w up with it on the fly so it was already taken a bit off guard but I'm pretty good at improvisation so it's all good and then they asked the question like do you do magical tattoos and I just completely went with it and um, I had to like come up with some rules and some flavor for magical tattoos um, which is great and the player and 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 in this occasion really worked with me and they gave like I want it look, to look like this and I want to kind of to have it like this effect and I uh, did it as a game master it all happened that cost a bit of money like thousand gold pieces or something like that and um, yeah all, all fine and good but I can see people getting caught really off guard by this and just needing including me needing a set of tattoos that have rules that have uh, uh, powers that have maybe even curses in them that you can put on your body a system actually to do that within the game of fifth edition and all of that stuff and that's where tome of mystical tattoos uh, I always say mythical for some reason but it's mystical tattoos uh, number two for D&D 5 E comes in. So what I want to do in this video is basically two things. Like always, want to quickly glance over the Kickstarter page um, to see what you kind of get for your money, and then I want to look at the preview PDF, which you can also download for yourself and just give a little bit like of my first impressions of the preview PDF. Uh, but I sure plan on reviewing this if this ever becomes like a reality which it probably will because it made for uh, 84,720 euros for me out of the 6,864 euros goal so it's safe to say it's coming also, I want the Tome of Mystical Tattoos number one, and I want both in my possession because I really love uh, like the artwork and the ID behind it. And if you know me, you know that I'm a big fan of usability, right? So I like books that just serve a purpose, that sit on your shelf, maybe even for half a year, maybe even a year. They sit on your shelf for a year, and then suddenly it comes up, and then you can just take it out of your shelf, and you just look at it, and it serves a purpose. That's why I love. Uh, uh, that's why I love books that serve a purpose and that have this usability thing going on. And if something like this really has. It's like a bestiary, but for tattoos. It's like a magic item companion, but for tattoos. So let's scroll down a bit. Look at this Kickstarter page really quickly before we dig into the PDF. We're going to get 200 plus illustrated, never before seen, spellbinding magical tattoos. So it is that. 
And it is not much more than that. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I don't mean it in a bad way. There's more, just wait for it. But I don't mean it in a bad way. It serves its purpose and it looks like it's going to do that pretty well. So there's a preview PDF you can download, which I've already done. And it's uh, I'm, we're going to look at it uh, in a bit. Uh, there's an optional tattoo system where it actually goes into like the system for putting the tattoos on your skin and how that works. Uh, there's not a lot of information yet uh, out there in the preview PDF. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they mechanically are going to handle that when all is said and done. There is the tattooist class. Is I think it is a class class in the first book and now they're uh please say hello to the marked class making its grand entrance the marked are skilled tattoo artists in their own right but are more than just your party's tattoo applicant to app Applicator. Without revealing too much, you might find that their presence in combat affords you, your party, quite an impressive frontliner. So we are getting a, a I think it's a subclass to the or is it a completely new class? Uh, I'm not sure about it because I haven't really looked into the first book yet, but I am planning to do that. But uh, I haven't looked into that yet. But basically, they are also there's also classes for um, the tattoo stuff where you um, where probably you have a class that can tattoo people, but also yeah, you is tattoo themselves and draw a lot of power out of their own tattoos. That is cool in itself. It's a book that basically has 200 plus. Tattoos with rules like basically just magic items that you could put in your skin, right? Uh, it has classes uh, How much and how deeply and well done they're going to be I cannot talk about that yet But it's in there and that's great and then there is um, These um, new covers where they have the original and the new one in like an alternate cover uh, limited edition legacy covers uh, Which they're only going to print in this Kickstarter and I think they look really cool next to each other where you have this blue wolf-like spirit thing and this uh, red more fire-like spirit uh, wolf-like thing uh, next to each other which makes it really look uh, look absolutely uh, cool and gorgeous so that's basically it and I like that it's basically it it's the simplicity of it that is actually so good so the stretch goal for example first stretch goals more tattoos I mean, you're backing a Kickstarter for a book full of tattoos. Why wouldn't you want more tattoos? That's what I always, I always find like a lot of stretch goals are sometimes far fetched, right? There's like, oh, there's this campaign setting, and then a stretch goal is something that is, right? It's it's another adventure in that campaign setting, which is great and everything. But if I'm backing personally a campaign setting, I just want the campaign setting to be bigger and better and and bolder, right? And with this. 10 more tattoos, 40k fillable PDF character sheet, handy, usable, usability again. I like that, that about this Kickstarter that just focused on that. Here's a book with, here's a book with tattoos. Here's form fillable character sheets, uh, magic items that interact with tattoos. Interesting, interesting. Magic tattoo ink system expansion. Even more options and unique visuals for magic and ink bottles for your tats. Okay. A trolling new tattooist adventure. There's a tattooist adventure coming because they unlocked that at 100k, which is in dollars, of course. It is in Canadian dollars, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it's a bit different than uh, for US dollars and euros. Um, so they are now at... Uh, oh, they need to unlock this. Let's unlock a new type of that that gain effects the closer they are to each other oh cool so you can put this tattoo on your skin it has an effect and then you put another tattoo on your skin that's another effect but you can or like two people have different tattoos and if you put them together it gets you a power something like that maybe i don't know i like it i like it and then of course you can get um all of the tiers you can back it uh, something that i really like that i want to say quickly is you can back it for 20 Canadian dollars or 30 Canadian dollars and it gives you exactly the same thing. The reason for that is like they want to actually, they want you to back it at 30 Canadian dollars, but more and more creators are starting to do this. Like, hey, the normal price is 30 Canadian dollars. That's what it's worth. That's what a good PDF is worth. It's 30 Canadian dollars, right? But if you are low in money, low in cash, whatever, or you are in one of those countries where you just don't have that much cash, it's like in the United States, whatever, 20 Canadian dollars, and you get 
you get the same thing. You just get the same thing. No questions asked. I love that. Kudos to the creators. Um, yeah, I really, really, really appreciate that. Uh, so there's, of course, always extra stuff like legacy tier. I don't really personally care about like these, these things like uh, printable stuff, STL files. I don't personally care about it because I play tier driven mines. So they sit cool on a shelf, but that's it for me, basically. And you can get the Tome of Myth Mystical Tattoos as an add-on for, if I'm not mistaken, 25 Canadian dollars or 55 Canadian dollars in print. So all of that is really great and really cool. So let's take a look at the PDF. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Tome of Mystical Tattoos 2 preview PDF that anybody can download from the Kickstarter page. Link in the description below, like always. And I want, wanted to just like uh, quickly glance through this and see what we can expect from the finished book. Uh, like I said before in the video, I haven't looked at the Tome of Mystical Tattoos number one yet. Uh, I know what it is. I know of its existence. I've been knowing for quite a while of its existence, but I haven't really looked into it yet. Uh, but I am more than planning to when I get these both books in my possession I want to do like a more in-depth video on it in the near future so make sure to subscribe uh, if you want to see me do that so the artwork of course is amazing it's a bit different from the artwork that I'm used to from fifth edition products it's also for me personally a kind of artwork that I genuinely am not that much of a fan of, but I think still it is uh, very well done. And I know a lot of people that do love it. So from a consumer perspective, it is really just really great artwork. Uh, this one I like better. For some reason, the wolf, the wolf kind of just like speaks to me. So uh, the first thing that they go into is like what magic tattoos are. Basically, in a really basic sense, it might be butchering it. So uh, my apologies to the creators. In a very basic sense, magic tattoos are magic items that you put in your or skin right um so there's an entire uh, alternative tattoo system that they uh, briefly talk about right here where and i think this is really cool where a tattoo artist draws a tattoo on a piece of paper right and then they have this tattoo uh, it, it's on a piece of paper it doesn't yet have its magical properties but it is ready to have and to get its magical properties once it is put on skin but you can have this on a piece of paper like an entire book full of tattoos close the book and just give it to somebody or sell it whatever and then a tattoo artist a magical tattoo artist can take their tattoo pen or whatever it is uh, draw like like withdraw the ink from the paper have it in their pen and then put the tattoo on somebody's body giving it its magical properties but also making it disappear from the piece of paper now the piece of paper just a blank slate paper but the tattoo is on the person that has the tattoo set on their body which i think is really cool a thematic way of having uh a, an easy way to like sell tattoos without them being on a body so maybe a tattoo artist can buy a book full of like different types of tattoos uh, uh to like put on the right person's skin like a tattoo that gives you more armor class for example for a tank right stuff like that which is uh really 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 cool um so they also say to be continued so they're just giving like brief information about what is what the final book will have more information and then they just go into different kinds of uh, tattoos for example the first tattoo they go into um, something that I want to talk about is another tattoo also has a curse tied to it, which I think is really interesting uh, to have like, like a magic item that could be have this benefit to you, but also it's a cursed item at the same time. But the Genie's Passage tattoo is cool. Um, it's a wondrous item tattoo, a rare requires attunement. So putting it on your skin is probably the attunement, attunement part. Uh, uh, as a bonus ac action, you can cause your legs to be surrounded by an elemental vortex that lifts you from the ground. So basically, it's a genie's passage. So you have this feet of a genie, basically, right? So you become kind of like a genie from the bottle thingy, like your uh, your lower body has like this vortex thing going on. And then you can have a um, a few different uh, effects. For example, uh, the fire walk, a creature that starts its turn within five feet of you while the vortex, vortex, is, uh, vortex is active, must succeed on a DC 13 dexterity saving throw or take fire damage equal to your proficiency bonus. So these are some things. Uh, another thing is real, what 
they do is really cool is they put a bit of lore there uh how it was developed why or where it came from or whatever which is a cool thing but i wanted to actually talk about um so there's a misty form tattoo uh there's also uh there's this other tattoo where did i see it uh perspective adf 50 so yeah the undying tattoo so the undying tattoo basically gives you uh half orcs uh endurance thing feature from the half orc where if you drop to zero hit points and are not outright killed um you actually drop to one hit point it also gives you the advantage of you immediately gain temporary hit points very important temporary hit points equal to twice your level and that lasts for one hour so make sure to uh get yourself yield without the within the hour because otherwise you will lose the uh temporary hit points and drop to your death or to zero hit points anyway or to like one hit point anyway so that's a cool thing to have so that's a cool feature to have uh basically you might be human but you spent like a few hundred uh gold pieces to put this tattoo on your skin which is really cool it's over the shoulders or whatever it is and then you get like this half orc endurance kind of thing but you also gain this temp these temporary hit points when you are hit once in a day and you are reduced to zero hit points but it also has a curse which i really like whenever the tattoo uh, property is activated you have a 50% chance of having the appearance of being permanently undead you retain your creature type you yet you re register re regest bleh, yet yet you register you reject you re re register as undead to spells and other effects that detect uh, the presence of undead creature type the physical changes uh wrought by the tattoo are not considered magical in nature bloody blah, blah 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 it can only it cannot be dispelled but it can only be undone with effects like raider restoration and remove curse now now getting this half orc endurance or relentless or whatever that is it's called is great having these hit points is great this curse it sucks so mechan i i really think uh thematically it is amazing it is really really cool you are slain but you're also not slain and you basically get like these undead features it makes sense it's thematically okay 50 percent though is a bit high uh I think mechanically it's a bit much uh it's like i would put it down to maybe even like 25 maybe even like 10 percent one out of 10 and just roll a d10 if you roll a 10 you become an undead because becoming an undead once every two times you activate this ability it's a lot for me personally mechanically for my games personally i would dim it down but that's the thing with dungeons and dragons you can do whatever the fuck you want so if you want to dumb it down to like 10 percent uh that's perfectly fine you can perfectly well do that so so yeah, I think that is really cool. Let's look a bit at the six gates tattoo, if that's... Uh uh, produced by a special needle, mystic symbols, and blah, blah, blah. As an action, you can activate the tattoo to open one of your gates of power. You choose which gate you will release each time you use the property by consulting uh, the chart. You gain the benefits of the gate you choose to release as well as lower gates. For example, if you opened the second gate, you have advantage on ability checks and your speed is doubled. You stay in this gate for 10 minutes or until you end it as a bonus action. Once the state ends, you gain a number of levels of exhaustion equal to the gate you opened. High risk, high reward. I love it. I love it. Um, talking about high risk, high reward, I have a free cleric subclass on the Dungeon Master's Guild, link in the description below, uh, that you can just grab if you want, which is also super high risk, high reward. Uh, levels of exhaustion, to use this property again, you must finish a long rest. So you choose the gate, and the higher you go, the more effects you have. For example, if you go for first level, you have advantage on ability checks. That's a big one. Second, your speed is doubled. Another big one. Third, you have advantage on attack rolls. Then you gain temporary hit point equal to half your hit point maximum. Wow. Okay. It's really strong. That so that's something I'm getting from this book. Stuff is strong. This stuff is really, really strong, but they are also um, putting in these strong negative effects to kind of like balance that out. So it's high risk, high reward. You gain an additional action on each of your turns. That action can be used only to take the attack 
one melee attack only or dodge action which is big for a fighter or something a level five fighter which already who already has a second attack in their attack action uh yeah that's big they can get that extra action a one melee attack only so uh rules as written you would only get like one extra attack from so let's say you get an additional action on each of your turn let's say you're a le level five fighter right you have two attacks on your first round and you take action search you have two more attacks uh, and then you have that extra attack from this which gives you like five attacks if you use your action turn uh, action search and three attacks if you don't use your action search which is big it's a big thing once per turn when you hit a creature with a melee attack you can choose to make an attack uh, a final blow the target must make a dc 20 constitution save control or 20 20 Decision saving throw or die instantly. On a successful save, the target takes an extra 8d8 damage. That's strong, but you gain levels of exhaustion. Um, so you gain one level of exhaustion if you opened the first gate, if you, if you uh, did the first gate thingy, but six levels if you went six. Uh, but if you have the sixth one open, you also have the fifth, the fourth, the third, the second, and the first. So you are basically, if once you activate the sixth, you are a freaking demigod. Let's say at level seven, you, this, you, you do this stuff. As a fighter, you basically become like a level 15 boss. Something like that. You, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know exactly how, but yeah, it's, it's big. This is really strong, but it's really cool. Uh, you should release lower gates, for example. Um, yeah, you get that. Um, once the state ends, you gain a number of levels equal uh, of exhaustion equal to the gate you open. So you become a demigod, and then you become somebody who is worth absolute shit. So you only do like the sixth gate when you know you're fighting like a boss or whatever. Um, and then you go into a hotel and you sleep. Somebody has to carry you in there probably and you go to sleep. And yeah, so that's the, I'm not going to cover the entire PDF, but that's the main ID of, uh, then there's an entire open gaming license. Who doesn't love an open gaming license, right? So that's the ID of the, um, of this book of the, uh, Tome of Mystical Tattoos number two. And from what I'm reading, I'm absolutely loving it. So if you're interested in this, make sure to click the link in the description below. Like always, um, if you back the Kickstarter and you have followed my link in the description below, I get bragging rights which is always cool uh, because it is a tag link uh, and until next video bye bye